the fear of failing. I was cured, healed, delivered from it. The first time I really failed in the disastrous way on the first attempt to fly around the world in the balloon. And after six hours, I was down in the water, ditching in the Mediterranean, losing my balloon. I had the impression at that moment that I couldn't be more ridiculous. It was the ultimate failure. And it was like a vaccination. From that moment on, I was free to try everything I wanted. It was really a liberation. I was trying to achieve the first ever round the world balloon flight. And finally I made it. Until the moment I landed, it was like the dream of my life. And at the moment I landed, it started to be like a, a step to make something else. And that's actually the moment where I decided to launch the Solar Impulse project to fly around the world in a solar powered airplane. That means with no fuel at all. When you have an ID, you need people to participate to the realization. You need a team. And the first reaction is maybe to try to convince people to support you. And when you do that, you fail because convincing people means you're going to fight against the part of them that would like to say no. I believe that to motivate, you have to share the purpose and show that what you do is not only for you. It needs to be useful to a maximum possible number of people. When you fly around the world in a solar powered airplane, you demonstrate what you can do with clean technologies. People want to live with a short term personal advantage. Give them the possibility to have the best life they want to have with cleaner technologies, more energy efficient technologies, with renewable energies. And Solar Impulse is exactly in that vein. You give hope to people that there are solutions. You show that climate change is a profitable opportunity. You can do better without fuel than with fuel. Let's go for this clean technology revolution.